Hello guys, this is Flag coming at you from the sub-basement of Helix VR Headquarters, Unchained. At least for now. Today we're playing a game by Vertu Studios called Run of Maiden. This game is available on Steam for VR only, both the Vive and the Oculus Rift. Uses has full touch controller support and room scale. Comes in both multiplayer and single player settings. I have only played a little bit of the single player, played a little bit of the multiplayer, I enjoyed the heck out of it. And I hope you do too. The game is available on Steam for $19.99. I got it for $14.99, I believe, on sale. It is well worth the money. Without further ado, let's get into it. Make sure we're starting out at the beginning here. I believe that is the beginning. And here we go. Alright, here we are at the beginning of the stage inside of the cave, bound by chains. If you notice the flower pattern on the floor, that is another layover uh, overlay program I'm using by Ben Otter from Otter Company called Turn Signal. This uh, application is absolutely free. It's available on Steam. I will link it in the description. But what it does is when I turn, it tells me how many times I've turned basically by how much this flower deforms. Right now it's showing that my, I'm, I'm sh my wire is no longer bound in any way, shape, or form, but I'm going to face this way, which just slightly turns it, but it's great for those games that have you spinning around in circles, so you don't either wrap yourself up in your wire or just end up with it being so short by the end of it that well, you got to stop playing to untangle it, which can be quite a pain. What you're seeing here in the video does not do the game justice. This game is absolutely stunning and runs quite smoothly. I'm running it right right now on an i5 4690K Devil's Canyon with a GTX 1070. I have super sampling up to 1.5 times while recording, so hopefully this records smoothly. I usually run it at two times super sampling, along with the graphics at very high settings, and I have no issues. In the main menu, I didn't, uh, show you this maybe I will on another video but there are options to customize your character as I've done I didn't do many customizations but you have the ability to change the color pattern of your character along with face shape body type armor type and a few other things you have a whole slew of weapons that are indicated on the tops of the hands and movement is done with the grip buttons on either direction on here you don't have much movement except for the side to side but in the multiplayer you basically free fly which is nausea free and very satisfying Let's see if we get double bash these guys here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was al almost bad. I think we killed him. The two lines of my arms, I got a black one and a white one. Black one is how much energy is left in your weapon. And the white one is how much health you have. They both regenerate. A, uh, I don't know if I killed him or not. Yeah. 
you have uh, different weapons you can choose from by clicking the uh, top menu button. Alright, here we go. This is where the fun begins. Got these two uh, characters here. And that was a lot easier than the last time I did this. Now this is where the fun begins, right? Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. All right, let's try that again. All right. Well, let's see if we can... I think we can go a little faster. Oh, crap. Oh, all right. That's the first time I've had that happen twice in a row here. Oh, we, if we get hit by them, we're, I think we're pretty much dead considering our health is low right now. Please, please regenerate that health. Okay, here we go. If maybe if we time it just right, we might get through it. And here we are at the first boss. I don't know if I can just... Ah, no! The graphics in this game look, remind me <laughs> so much of uh, the movie Lawnmower Man. There we go. All right, okay, gets us back. And I got lucky there. Let's see. All right, we defeated the first boss. We get a new weapon here. And move on. I'm not going to play too much more of this. I don't want to, to... I don't want to spoil it for those of you who might want to play the story mode. So we'll go a little bit further and then we'll go ahead and bring this to a close. This game, you guys should go out and get it if you like what you see. It is not given nearly the love that it deserves. This is a fabulous title. It's been out since, I believe, June or July. Oh, wow, I'm out of ammo. Okay, at least they're, they're breaking here. Let's see. Ah! I cannot shoot. Look at that. All right, guys, I think we're gonna end it here. If you if you like what you've seen, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, well, hit that other button. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube at Helix VR. Itch us on Twitch. Tweet us on Twitter. F us on Facebook, and smash us on Smash cast. Till next time, guys, this is Flag from Helix VR, going back to the basement. See ya.